Hey guys, what's up? Um, I had an interesting conversation today. Uh, I'd had some fights uh, with some players, including like Skip to My Nash, and I noticed that I'm getting better. Every time I fight these really top tier players, I improve and I can see the improvement and I win more matches uh, with one notable exception and that is against the PKCS. Uh, I feel like not only have I not gotten better, uh, I've totally stagnated, and in some senses, I may actually be playing worse. And what usually happens is, of course, I know the risk of panic rolling. PKCS lives and thrives on panic rolls. So I do my best not to, and what'll usually happen is I'll miss a roll, but it'll end up getting buffered. So it'll sit there in the buffer, and then when I come out of hit stun, that buffer will release and I will roll again, which is essentially a panic roll, even though that's not what I did, that's what it looks like. And then that starts the cycle anew and I get roll caught. And I thought, well, if I'm, if I'm buffering rolls, that means that most likely I'm rolling, but just a little bit too late and that's how it's getting buffered. And there's ways to manage buffered rolls. You can hold down the sprint button uh, out of hit stun so that you don't panic roll so that you instead sprint. And from there you can roll, but that requires committing it to muscle memory. And that type of thing simply doesn't happen often enough to me to have justified the effort into managing a problem like that. So having been frustrated a bit, and trying to figure out how to improve against the PKCS, I talked to G9 a bit about the problems I was having, and the thing he asked me was sort of interesting. He said, what sort of monitor are you using? And initially I was sort of surprised by the question, but I realized where he was going, and it's because monitors and TVs have input lag. So when something happens on your computer, the program you're running, it takes time for that image to actually show up on your monitor. And the amount of time it takes is actually not very long. In fact, it's actually a pretty short amount of time, but the amount of time actually depends on the type of monitor or the TV you have. And it can also matter, uh, or rather it can depend on the settings you have, especially on TVs. There are settings that improve the picture quality, but increase the input latency. Now, if you're watching a movie, that input latency doesn't matter too much. On some older TVs, it would actually be so large it could get out of sync with the audio coming out of your receiver. Most of TVs today don't do that, although I know a lot of older receivers actually had the ability to insert a buffer in the audio to prevent that sort of desync from happening. Now in my case, I'd actually held off for a long time before buying my current monitor, and I actually bought it before I ever started playing Dark Souls on my PC. And so the amount of input lag wasn't really a factor because I wasn't gaming on my PC. And the monitor I bought is actually a really nice monitor. It's the Dell U27 17D. Uh, it looks absolutely amazing. It was pretty expensive when I bought it, uh, but it's a fantastic looking monitor. But per a G9 suggestion, I went online to try to find out what the input lag is. Now you have to be careful because a lot of manufacturers will uh, give you a stat they call response time, but that's different. Response time is the amount of time it takes a pixel to change from one color to another. The stat that we want is the amount of time it takes for a signal to travel to the monitor and actually be displayed. And actually in my case, that information was never released by Dell, but a number of folks have done some really high-end testing against these monitors, and the answer is it depends. There were a number of revisions of my monitor, and so the amount of actual input latency or input lag could be as little as 24 milliseconds, or it could be as high as 37 milliseconds. Now, 24 to 37 milliseconds doesn't sound like a lot of time, and it's actually not that much time. But in the context of a game like Dark Souls 3, especially in the context of something like reaction rolling a PKC PKCS R1, it actually turns out that it's a pretty big deal indeed. And here's why. Um, there's obviously a thousand milliseconds in each second and on PC at 60 frames a second, that means each frame lasts about 16.66 milliseconds. Now that can kind of depend because even though it runs at 60 frames a second, sometimes in certain areas on certain PCs, the game will run slightly slower than that. It could be 52 frames, 54 frames, but just to simplify the analysis, we'll assume it's always 60 frames a second. If each frame is 16.6 milliseconds and I have 37 milliseconds of input lag, 
it follows then that what I'm seeing on the screen is actually over two frames behind what's happening in reality. Now, if it were 24 milliseconds of input lag, then it would be about one and a half frames behind what's actually happening on my PC. Now at first blush, one frame or two may not sound like much, and in some sense it really isn't, uh, but when you start looking at the context of trying to reaction roll weapons, in particular weapons like PKCS or a straight sword, a uh, clearer picture emerges and we went looking for good data on weapon startup speeds and unfortunately uh, there wasn't a lot to find and the most reliable data that I was able to find was data from uh, regulation version 1.08. 1.08 is kind of old at this point, but the good thing is I don't believe that any of the startup speeds and frames have changed for straight swords or for the kickflip curve swords. Now it did for some of the slower curve swords, but I'm not talking about those. I'm focused on the faster ones since that's what everyone uses anyway. So frame data that we found, straight sword R1 one-handed, 32 startup frames, at least for the first swing in the combo. The subsequent swings in the combo are actually faster, they take fewer frames, but everyone's worried about the first one, 32 frames. Then for the curved sword, for like a scimitar or PKCS, two-handed, it's 26 frames. I believe it's 31-handed, but again, most people use it two-handed, so that's 26 frames. 26 for the curved sword compared to 32 for the straight sword, and you can see that's not a whole lot of difference, and yet uh, the perception of those is very different. And again, the perception, I think, is dependent not only on the number of frames, it's also dependent on the move set, the readability of the move set, and also things like uh, you can waggle with the curved sword, and that waggle looks very much like the startup of the R1, and you don't have a whole lot of time to determine which it is. There is no real good waggle option for the straight sword unless you're two-handing it, but very few people two-hand the straight sword. So as I was looking through this data, I had an epiphany. What I realized is that if you assume that I'm two frames behind what's actually happening because of my monitor, my monitor is effectively turning straight swords into curved swords and making curved swords that much more difficult to reaction roll. And especially given the way that I tend to buffer the R1s, again, meaning that I'm right on the edge of reaction rolling it or not, those two frames may well be the difference between being able to re reliably reaction roll the curved sword R1 and instead getting stuck being hit or with a buffered R1. Now the same problem is going to be a problem on the PS4. It's also going to be a problem with TVs. Now as I mentioned earlier, a lot of TVs have settings like a cinema setting or a gaming setting. And generally speaking, this is a, a the setting represents a trade-off between image quality and the amount of latency between the time the image is sent to the TV and it actually displays on the TV. Now I don't know as much about TVs, so you might want to check your own settings. Uh, and you might want to check the input set, or the, rather the input latency of any monitor you're using. And the question for me is, would this be enough to justify me going out and buying a new monitor? Probably not, but it definitely would be enough to justify me looking at the statistic the next time I buy a monitor. Uh, the amount of input latency variance there is is huge, and in fact, as I learned, my monitor is actually one of the worst offenders. Now, it depends on the revision of the monitor that I have. They got better over time, meaning there was less input latency as they got further revisions into the model. Uh, but regardless, uh, this is still a huge concern for me. And the other thing to think about too, once you start thinking about latency, is it's actually part of an entire cycle. It's not simply just the latency as it gets to the display, it's also then the visual latency as you process the information, then you actually do something and you interact with the keyboard or your controller, and especially if it's a wireless keyboard or a wireless controller, you have latency there as well as it takes time for the signal to travel to your uh, PC and eventually get processed. So I guess the take home lesson is, Think about your equipment, think about where there might be some extra latency somewhere in your sort of signal chain all the way from your console or computer to your TV or monitor, through your controller, your keyboard, whatever it may be. Uh, even those little things can actually add up, especially when you're operating on the fringe of what's actually like humanly possible. I think 
for a lot of the folks I've spoken to, the PKCS reaction role is sort of that frontier where some people feel like they cannot do it and other people feel like they can. Um, I hope you guys got something useful out of this. If you happen to have access to really accurate frame data for these weapons, I would love to see it. The only one I found, and I'll leave a link to it in the uh, description, is for an old patch version. Now, I don't think uh, the fast curved swords with the kick flips or straight swords have changed in their intervening time, but I'm sure for a lot of the other weapons it has, I'd love to see something new. Thanks so much for checking in.